so we are here for NCAA South Cross Crusher. Thursday morning, 2-2-4, we got part 11 here. So we have a Southern Indiana and Tennessee to top of the night. Here's here. We have a in the mid-seven three in the top of the set. We have South Carolina upstate. 6 3 in the big south tonight. And Carl, we're looking to win the upbeat ladies. We're going to win the ladies from the south. And if. The first three and. In and get the ladies. I don't know if they do the one seeds. If they lose their conference tournament, I don't know if they make it to the niche. And she should have stopped that But if they do, I don't know if the is making it. Is that if, they're, if they accept the invitation? Sure. Sure they won. We got Liberty, 11 10 and Lila Utah here in the bottom of the Marshall takes the seat, the fourth and kind of quarter time. He's in a rain day. If this gets a rain day, the quarter final, the semi final, or, or this team would play, would probably be the second semi. Yeah. And then we got the number from Missouri and up to one in the number three games in the top of the fifth. Wisconsin 5 1 Rutgers in the top of the fifth. North Alabama and Central Arkansas looks like it's in a weather delay. As it is Bama the second here. Is that two scoreless here? Ohio 6 0 lead in Ball State in the bottom of third. Number 19 Arizona 4 0 on Washington in the top of the second. And we got New Tarrington 2 1 on CLU in the bottom of the second. And some of the finals here from earlier in games, earlier, they mentioned. Um, Portland City, Idaho State, 6 5. Georgia Tech knocked off for number 15, Virginia Tech. And Virginia Tech is, it was number 15 in the country there. Most likely, it could still host the regional, but. The chances of that are getting something you make at least the semis in the ACC, you know, be with Florida State, Clemson, Virginia Tech, Duke. They need to be in that conversation. You know. At least make it to the semis. And, nope, they didn't, so. Missouri State, some form Belmont in Missouri Valley tournament. And, and we got Alabama State, Bethune. Alabama beat Bethune for one for one in the sweat semis to make it the sweat championship. San Diego State beat Boise is beat Boise State nine one and five, and Baylor is beat UCF three two in the Big Twelve quarter in the final Big Twelve quarters. Big Twelve semis are tomorrow, and we got the Eastern tournament ten three Eastern East Wing plus. It is tentative. That was tentative. Ten three stream. Fisher back, no string. Stranger made on staff for the Lions. She was the pitching coach for the 2016 National Championship team for Division II level. That was a really good take by Fisher. Duskin working really hard to see how far she can push that 0 2 and 1 2 count. Trying to get Fisher to chase. Gone outside twice. Now goes inside. Blooper to short. Brought in by Kirby. And Central Arkansas again. 
first game of the day was scheduled for 10 a.m. Central Time. Rained so much in the area. First game was pushed back to 2 p.m. Central Time. Pez trying to zig and zag their way through the bracket again. Patterson, 91 games played in North Alabama. And we will have a weather delay. Hole plate umpire Willie Lopez got the signal. It's not rain, it is lightning in the area. Chocolaka Park in Oxford. We'll, uh, we'll try to keep you up to date but for the moment. So that is, that's what was, was lightning, Billy. If there's lightning within 70 miles of the steam, they, they're calling off just in keeps. So in a southern Indian, a Tennessee took Bamba Lakes, nine all. Incarnate Ward, eight three and McNeese. Trust from Southern in the second game, down three to SC Upstate, South Grand Upstate. For Brooks, 0 for 3 in the ball game, a strikeout and a couple of ground outs. It's imperative that she find a way to get on base here. Somehow, some way. Because that would then put the potential tying run at the plate. The pitch misses. Side ball. Roll down the third base line. Celeste Di Lorenzo was in really, really tough. Great hitters count. If you're Chrislene Marino right now, you're expecting something over the white that you can hit pretty hard. Let's see what she does here. She can play with a strike. She doesn't have to swing. That's right down the middle. One out. Base is loaded. Eight to three in the seventh. UIW leading by a bunch. But here come the Cowgirls. Can they make something happen right here? Portillo to the plate, popped up. It'll carry out to center field. This may be deep enough to score the runner from third. It is, the run, the throw goes to third. Moreno does collect the RBI, but that's the second out on a sacrifice fly to center field. So the lead is now four. By this point, if you're UAW though. One more base runner to bring the tying run to the plate. Uh I mean, at this point, though, if you're UAW, you'd rather get the out. Um, then you, you, know, you don't care about the run. All you care about is the out. Getting the second and the out. We've got Poncho at second. We've got Dibley at first. We've got two outs and a four-run lead for UAW. Perez at the plate. Steve, right one. Bella is 0 for 2 with a walk. The Cowgirls are down to their final out. The pitch in the dirt and saved by Caceres. Portillo trying to move her team to the championship game against Southeastern. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Belted into left center field. That's down. It's going to roll to the That's wall. Probably gonna get the Cowgirls two. are running the bases. Bella Perez doubles to keep this game alive. And here come the Cowgirls. Bella Perez with a clutch base hit. She's winding her arm in exaltation. And she belted that one into left center field. It got all the way to the wall. 
Yes, she did. She was ready for this pitch. It's elevated. She kept her hands on top of this ball and worked it right back up the middle. And that's a true freshman stepping up in a huge moment for that team. She whacked it about, well, it rolled to about the 210 foot mark out there on that ball. It's 225 to dead center field and the tying run is at the plate. Eight, six now. Three in the inning for the Cowgirls. Can they get some more? An off-speed pitch drops out of the zone. Reese Reyna at the plate. We asked James Landrino in a situation like this, two outs, trailing in the seventh. What do you do? Who do you want at the plate? He did not hesitate. He said Reese Reyna. Anytime Coach James Landrino talks about Reese Reyna, he says that she is a dog. She has a dog in her chest, and she's ready to fight and compete every single pitch. She took that one down the middle for a strike. It's one ball and one strike. Reyna is 0 for 3 today. She has fly to right twice and grounded out to shortstop. I do want to mention that Reese Reyna is the hitter last year that hit the home run to walk off the championship. Let's see what she can do here. That pitch is down. McNeese has scored three in the inning, and oh, it wishes it did not yield two in the top of the inning. Here comes the pitch to Reese Reyna. That's a little bit inside. Portillo just hoping and wishing and praying to get one more good pitch. Reyna waits, moves the bat away from her shoulder, and here's the pitch. That might have been ball four. That one looked elevated to me, but Reyna was protecting the plate. That's that big moment. Sometimes the ball gets too big, and you want to get that big swing. With a count of three and one, though, you can let that go and uh, hope you get that ball four call. But now we go to three and two. UIW eight, McNeese six, two outs, a runner at second base, bottom of the seventh, the pitch. Again, that might have been elevated, but probably too close to take. Well, you didn't expect this game to end on a common note, did you? You knew there was gonna be some drama, and there is. We talked about that before. Both teams know what's on the line, and they're out here competing to the best of their abilities every single pitch. And we know that McNeese is a great team, and they're not going to go down easy. This pitch is belted into center field, and it drops on the turf. Here comes the run, and we've got a one-run game. Somehow, Reese Reyna was able to drop one where nobody could get to it. And here come the Cowgirls. They have scored again to bring it to a one-run game, four in the inning. This ball suddenly died out there. Nobody could get to it. It fell in the Bermuda Triangle. Perhaps it was Cram, the center fielder, who had the best shot at it, but it really wasn't a high percentage play for her either. And somehow we go to another batter in a one-run game. You would like to see a little bit more communication on that ball. It looks like all three position players are running towards it, but nobody really takes that initiative and overpowers. So let's see what Torres can do. First pitch swinging, lines it to right. It's caught and the game is over. Look at the jubilation for the Cardinals as they survive a furious comeback effort by McNeese in the bottom of the seventh. And UIW will play for the championship of the Southland Conference tomorrow against Southeastern at noon. Here's the final out, a line drive off the bat of Mariana Torres. And it's gobbled up in right field by Gutierrez. And now the celebration is on. Joy boiling out of that dugout. UIW all smiles as they will take on Southeastern tomorrow. Wow, what a ball game. And you go back to that ground rule double early in the game that McNeese hit, it would have been an easy. And that is the end of the, end of the game. In McNeese beats Incarn or Incarn Award beats McNeese eight seven. And that goes, and that's the game here. 
Oh yeah, is there any... No, it's not. It's weather. That is suspended due to weather. And I'll be late early tomorrow morning. So we will have... So definitely the SEC term is getting... Is moving back due to weather. So... Then we got the Southland title game. Tomorrow. We got one soft. We got the Southland title game and the necessary title game. And we got the Swag Championships tomorrow. But yeah, we just got a bunch of semis tomorrow. We got semis in all the conference tournament. Most, all, almost all the conference tournaments. The Horizon League it Championship is sun Sunday, though, due to weather in the area. And they were not able to get off, I don't think, a single game today. Uh, the Horizon did not play a single game today. Like they would like to, so that's why their tournament championship is pushed to Sunday. Otherwise, um. Every team is playing on their championship, and if this, and for this, all the most of the conferences do if necessary. Most every conference is if necessary, except for the um, SEC, Big Twelve, Pac Twelve, ACC, and the American. Does not do it if necessary, and the Sun Belt does not do it if necessary. So. So, yeah, but as of now, we just have a couple games left here. We have Southern India 10 9 on Tennessee Tech, we have Marshall and Texas State have not played yet. I don't think that's going to be played tonight here. I would assume that would be moved to tomorrow. And then we have Wisconsin up 5 2 on Rutgers. We have Ball State down 6 to a Ohio in the top of the fourth. We have 4 nothing Arizona up on Washington in the top of the third. We got CLU turns and CLU 2 going to the top of the third. We got one more. We got some other games that have ended. Suspended, yes. They have suspended the ASUN tournament. Who knows if the ASUN tournament will be moved? I mean, the ASUN semis are supposed to be tomorrow. At 1.30 Eastern and 3 Eastern. However, I'm assuming there's going to be the two. A sun semis to later in the day they will and they'll just move the and they'll probably just move you know the same start time they originally did say 10 a.m. Eastern they'll just start the first game at 10 a.m. Eastern and start the second and then the tentative you know uh, just yeah, so just move the games back, you know, move the semis back a little bit, and then the championships will still be played on Saturday. But if there is rain delay, they'll just move the semifinal and they'll just have the championship. And then if it goes to an if necessary championship, the third game, you might just have to play the if necessary on Sunday. 
if necessary championship on Sunday. And the Mac, the if necessary game in the Mac, the, th the, s the game in the Mac, the other day, scheduled to play the third game. I'll just be moved to today, tomorrow. And yeah, that was originally scheduled to be played at 2.30 Eastern and 5.30 Eastern, so. I just have to play it a little bit earlier, like maybe like, you know, I'll continue, maybe start at like 12.30 Eastern. Actually, me, 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 no, I'm to restream if they want to have a three hour gap, so. So it is what it is, I mean. And the Sun Belt. Yeah, I saw these conference tournaments. Most of them have not had big rain delay issues, except for the Horizon League, they didn't play a single game today. The, the map only got two of the three in, and the Sun and the A Sun only got one in, but at least they're not. Having to move till Sunday. They, you know, they still won't have to move till Sunday. The A Sun one. So we'll see here.